Hey guys, this is Shay from Stoked on Fishing. To thank you for your support, we're giving away some more free swag. T-shirts, hats, rods, reels. All you have to do is hit the subscribe button. And for a second chance to win, leave us a comment down below. One of the best things about traveling to a new destination is seeing and experiencing new things you've never done before. This past spring, we went to one of my favorite new spots on the planet, and it's only six hours away from Los Angeles, California. I'm talking about Fishing Panama and the world-famous Hannibal Bank. We hooked back up with an old friend from the past. His name is Chris Atkins from Central America Fishing. He got our gang together, rallied us up with the one and only Pesca Panama, and the next thing you know is we're chilling on a barge in the Coiba National Park with epic inshore and offshore fishing right off your doorstep. Yep. Oh yeah! Big dog! Woo! Holy! Woo! Oh, there he goes! Woo! Hold on tight! Stoked On Fishing is brought to you by Okuma Fishing Tackle, a global leader in the design and manufacturing of high-quality fishing tackle. Okuma, inspired fishing. And by El Dorado Sport Fishing. Designed with comfort in mind, she offers 85 feet of space for fishermen who want to get away from the crowd and have some fun in the sun. Book your fishing adventure today. And by Fishing Nosara, the best sport fishing in Costa Rica. Far removed from commercial fishing lanes and off-beaten tourist paths, the Nosara area is Costa Rica's best-kept fishing secret. All right, Chris from Central America Sport Fishing is hooking all this up. That's one of the cool things when you show up to an airport that you have no idea where you're at. He's got your guy standing there, our man's sitting there with their sign, and now we're chilling at the VIP lounge. VIP lounge, why? He goes and gets all of our luggage. And game starts tomorrow. <laughs> Hello, Patrick. Yeah, yeah there you we're go. Here. There you go. And I'm Mike Mokler. Well, Shay, <laughs> it's good seeing you. Dad's good buddies. We'll, uh, we'll yap about that later, but here's the rest of the crew. Uh, this place here. I don't know where we're going, but they're in trouble. We are on our way. Okay, so we just arrived in Panama City. Uh, we got a fresh group with us who've never been down there, and they are jacked. Yeah, they are. But Panama, out of all the South American companies, Central American companies, they got their stuff on lock. Yep. Airport, service, uh, travel. Are you done? Yeah. What was your name, darling? What was your name? Joanny, nice to meet you. A Thank pleasure. You. Yeah. We're off to uh, the hotel in the city. We are in Santa Maria, thanks to Chris, Central America Fishing. Great hotel we're hooking us up with. And then uh, we're going to get some dinner, probably crash tonight, and then a full day in the city tomorrow, All which right. is exciting. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Appreciate it. Thank you very much, you guys. Appreciate it. Have a good day. We just arrived at our hotel. We're just all gonna go to bed. We had a long day. <laughs> Let's go check it. All right, okay. Hey. That was the Marriott. Excellent. Very nice. Great hotel. Bed's comfy. Yep. Bed comfy, bed. Good showers. All right, Phil, we passed the test in Panama City. What's next? Uh, we're getting on a plane headed to David. Uh, I think we're getting on four center council boats. My uncle's calling me. Yep. Yes, sir. What up, Bill? What airport are we going to? All right, here we are, second stage of the trip. We're chilling with Air Panama. They're taking care of us. They're gonna head us over to David. And uh, trip starts today. We're really doing it, Harry. Here we go. All day, every day. <laughs> Every day. <laughs> yes, all day, every day. On our way. Yeah. Hello. There's a couple troublemakers right there. <laughs> Come and say hello, my friend. Jose, got to see you. Jose, very nice to meet you. There's the crew. There's the crew. Yeah. Another, uh, another step in the journey. Here we go. Yep. Yep. That'll work. Camera, baby. Is that going to work? It's going to work. It's going to work. <laughs> That's it. Sir Christopher. Yeah. Chris! Hey, Chris! <laughs> Come on, real amigo. What's up? Oh, yeah. uh, Spencer. Hey, Chris Herrick. Nice to meet you. So, basically, today's plan is um, we're going to fish inshore today. Uh, it's bit, today's like a warm up day, basically. Light tackle, inshore. You get to know your crew, they get to know you guys. 
and then uh, the barge kind of makes its way. But basically we're going to fish till 4 or 5 and then get back on the barge. If you see the captain's room under the kayaks, that's one bedroom. The other three bedrooms are down below. Uh, they all have four beds, they all have AC. And then uh, if you guys want to get your stuff ready, you know, change and sun lotion and get your light tackle stuff ready, uh, they're pretty much ready to go when you guys are. Always super stoked that you're doing something new. We're walking the plank to our barge. Never done this before, so we're super stoked. Is that one of them? Is that one of them? Yeah, that's one of them. Okay, I love it. Center council. Yep. Brian and Shay, you guys pick wherever you want to sleep. Okay. All right, there you go. Here's our room. Boys over there getting ready. The bunks. Here. So we got five identical 27-foot uh, Ocean Master Center consoles, which is pretty much the ideal boat for Panama because we can basically fish multiple angles at the same time, chucking poppers, jigging, you know, whether we're, you know, triple hookups on tuna. So this is the ideal boat to awesome not only boats, fish man. inshore, but also run a gun after the tuna. Yeah, there you go. This is what we want in Panama. Okay. Now, how far are we going? So right now, we're at the Pedregal Marina. We have about an hour run out of this river mouth into the mangroves. And then okay. our boats are gonna fish the first set of islands that you find off the coast is the Parita. That's in the Cherokee National Park. And then we'll meet up at the barge later tonight when it makes its way out there. Go get them, boys. All right, here we go. We're heading offshore. We got about a 50 mile run. We're gonna go out to the Hannibal Bank and uh, try and find the elephant tuna that went out there. Well, you can show me some pictures. They have been biting a little bit with some Dorado, right? Quite a bit, yeah. It's been big boils almost every single day. A lot of triple digit sized fish. Uh, the mahi are here, and uh, yeah, it should be a good day offshore. For the barge later. Yeah, so the barge is back here. We're going to go out straight out to Hannibal Bank and fish. The barge is going to make its way over to Koiba Island, and then we'll meet up tonight. Okay. All right, some porpoise around, John? Porpoise. Okay. All the time, the, the tunas working together with the porpoise. Yeah? And they found some bait too, huh? Yeah. Okay. Good one, Starts with life, baby. Starts with life. We got some life. That's good. Oi. Oi. Go, 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 go! Oh, hey! A nice one, too! Oh, yeah! Nice one, man! Yeah, nice fish, nice fish. Um, blue runner? Blue runner, yes. Well, that did not take long. We rolled up on that little boil, threw a blue runner, and Instant. Oh, yeah. oh man, look at it. it's right here. He's back out of the way. Oh, this is a big one, dude. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at the size of this thing. Oh, see, see, see. Nice job, Jonathan. Well done, my friend. Well done. Nice job. Thank you. All right, we're on the boat, gentlemen. Uh, so we got our first fish. Nice, probably a 40 pound Bull Dorado. Uh, he ate a live Blue Runner. Uh, but there's also tuna with him. So we're going to catch back up to these birds and see what else we can get into. <laughs> tuna everywhere. I got it. Get him. He's trying to shake it. Dude, he's shaking it. <laughs> he's trying to. Oh, he doesn't like it one bit. Chris, come here. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Digging it. Oh, 
350. Getting it done on a 50 pound yellowfin, baby. Booyah! All right, get up close. Oh, yeah! Yeah, baby. Hell yeah! Boy. Hell yeah! Kick it down on the bass gear! <laughs> first tune of the trip, Shay? I think I am the first tune of the trip. <laughs> I think so. How do you say, welcome to Panama, baby? <laughs> One of the most famous fishing spots in Panama. In the world. Too. And the world, yeah, yeah, this is the famous spot for all of Panama's big marlin, and this time of year, the big tuna. Basically what it is, is from land out to this point, it's kind of a slow, sloping, muddy bottom. And then right here, it drops off to 10,000 more feet. So this is kind of a high point. The Hannibal Bank will come up to about 160 feet within the surface. Uh, so this is obviously a nice pinnacle to congregate kind of all that bait fish and then the, you know, the big predatory fish, plesiacs like the tuna and mar marlin that we're after right now. Uh, we go try for the one deal. Send the soda for light bait. Okay, okay, and the bait they have is blue runner, sardine? Blue runner. Oh, they have blue runners. Yep. Okay. Gracias, amigos. That's a good one. It's probably hundreds of tuna right there. Yeah. All probably 50 pounds plus. Got a couple bites out of it. That was straight mental, dude. That was insane. Yeah, that was. That's what we came here for. May is tuna season, yeah. and we are in it. Go, baby, go, baby, go, baby, go, baby, go. Go, baby. That's a pretty good day, day two. That's our first full day in yeah. the book, so we still have three more full days, but tuna everywhere, as you saw. The Rados, uh, we're in the second boat in, so we got to see what the other three guys did, but not a bad first day. No. Luis, thank you. Well, well, my friend. Bueno, man. Good times, good times. Jonathan, good, good times, dude. Well done, you guys. Well done. Good. Olaf, Philip. Oh, this place is terrible. Let's go home. Yeah, you guys we should leave. Let's go home. <laughs> we got an 80 and a couple 50s and a big Dorado, a bull Dorado, about 40, cool. and lost six. Wow. No fun to be had in Panama. Uh, no, no. Here, no fun. I mean, dude, how was that? No, We've never seen anything no, like that, we, right? We, we, that got, was, we got well. caught in some frenzies that were, it, it was like the, a river rapid. It was just, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was crazy. And it lasted for like, that one lasted for about five, eight minutes. I mean, it was long. Well, it's crazy when you yeah. get bit too and they get a little too far away from you and you're just like, ah! Right there. All around us. Chris, this place is insane, dude. Look at this. How'd you guys do? Uh, we got six. We got about an 85. Woo! 
We got a couple 60s, a couple 60s, 40 and a 20. A couple 40s. Is that a 120? Yeah, no, but, the, but 20. The, the 85 was on 40 pound and a 60 was on 25 pound, and we got rocked. Wow. Did you just tell me? I said the end of the first glorious day on the water. We got Panama. Panama, baby. Woo! Look at that. Stoked On Fishing is brought to you by Okuma Fishing Tackle, a global leader in the design and manufacturing of high-quality fishing tackle. Okuma, inspired fishing. And by El Dorado Sport Fishing. Designed with comfort in mind, she offers 85 feet of space for fishermen who want to get away from the crowds and have some fun in the sun. Book your fishing adventure today. And by Fishing No Sorrow, the best sport fishing in Costa Rica. Far removed from commercial fishing lanes and off-beaten tourist paths, the Nosara area is Costa Rica's best-kept fishing secret.